Hi, I'm Noel from creationeffects.com, and this is the tutorial for using Network for After Effects. Network is an After Effects template which lets you easily create a variety of complex networks of dots and connecting lines. And it's a pretty simple effect uh, with lots of customization and animation options. And it's dirt cheap if you want to go check it out. It's at creationeffects.com. And uh, you can create all kinds of abstract networks or connect the dot to animations like the ones that you're seeing. And actually, comps for all 15 animations that are in the demo video are included in the template. All right, let's dive right into it. Uh, when you download the zip file, you want to be sure to open it the correct way. Otherwise, you could get errors in After Effects. So if you're on a PC, just right click it and choose the Extract All option. And if you're on a Mac, you can just double click it to open and then open the network.aep file inside. Or if you're already working on a project, you can just import the template into your project by going to File and Import, and then choose the network.aep file. And once it's open, you'll see a folder here named Example Animations, and these are the comps for the animations that are in the demo video. So you can use those however you want, or build on them, or whatever. Then at the bottom here, there's a comp named Your Audio, and this is for using an audio waveform as your lines to uh, connect the dots. So I'll show you that in a moment, uh, but the most important thing to show you is this comp, Network, and this is sort of your base comp uh, that you'll use to create your own animations. I'll hide the instructions layer at the top so we can see. All right, so here's how the effect works. Uh, a network consists of points, which is this layer, and lines, which are any of these four layers. And let's go over the points first. Every network must have at least one of these points layers, and uh, this is just a shape layer with multiple ellipses. And you can see them when you open the contents folder in here. If you want more points, just select the last one and duplicate it as many times as you want. Uh, or if you prefer, you can just select a bunch and then duplicate them all together. And they won't be in numerical order anymore, but that's okay. It'll still work the same. So you can make hundreds of these points if you want. Uh, it's a pretty fast effect, uh, but it will get slower uh, the more points and lines that you add. So keep that in mind. And then with the layer selected, you can go to your Effect Controls panel, and you'll see a bunch of slider controls for customizing the look and movement of the points. So we've got size and size variation, color, uh, stroke. Uh, you can spread them out horizontally or vertically. Random seed will give you new random positions. Separate horizontal and vertical wiggle controls, uh, so you can make them move around randomly at the speed that you want. And then group position, so you can animate the whole group to move together. And keep in mind, you can keyframe these controls if you want. And uh, since this is a shape layer, you can also add shape effects to these to get different looks. So I can add a pucker and bloat, and all my points become like little stars. And of course you can add any other effects to this layer, like a glow, or bevel alpha, or whatever, and you can get different looks. So that's the first part of what makes up a network. Uh, now let's look at the lines. Each of these lines layers offers different looks. Uh, let's look at the most basic one, this first one, which uses the beam effect. You can see by default we have 25 lines. And our points layer has 15 points. So what will happen is the first 15 lines will connect to the 15 dots in the order that the dots appear here. And once every point has a connecting line, all of the remaining lines will make random connections. So they'll just choose two random points and connect them. And like the points, to get more lines, you just duplicate the effect as many times as you need. And also like the points layer, you've got all these slider controls to customize the look of the lines. Now there's a couple controls here that you need to understand, uh, line origination and line destination. And right now those are both set to points group one. So that's our points layer here. 
So the lines are, are staying within our group of points, uh, but we can create multiple groups of points and connect the different groups. So let me show you a quick example. I'll take our first group of points and uh, I'll use the spread controls to cluster them together. And I'll adjust the group position and put them here in the corner somewhere. And I'll duplicate this layer and that creates group two. And I'll position that one over here. And I'll make a group three as well. And put it down here. So now I can add more lines to connect these however I want. I'll duplicate my lines layer and I'll keep the line origination at points group one and I'll set the line destination to points group two. And we can also use different kinds of lines if we want. So I can, I can use this lightning layer and I'll set uh, these both to group two. And I'll do a third lines layer with audio spectrum. Uh, that's, that one's good for, for dotted lines. And I'll set that to group two and group three. So you can have as many points groups as you want and as many line groups as you want, and then connect them however you want. And uh, that's gonna give you a lot more control if you wanna make more complicated shapes and networks. As you can see, uh, these last two lines layers use the audio spectrum and audio waveform effects which both allow you to use an audio file if you want to drive the waveform. So in the project panel, I've got this comp named Your Audio and it's got a song in there by default. Uh, and you can put your own audio file in there if you want. The reason I have it in its own pre-comp is so that you can easily change out the file and then all of these example animations uh, which use waveforms will just update automatically. But if you just want to drag your audio file directly to your comp, that'll work too. Um, just bring it in and in either of these layers, open the first effect, and then set the audio layer to your audio file layer. And close it. And rather than doing that with each effect, uh, which could take a while, you can just delete all the other effects and then duplicate that first effect multiple times. So that's Command D on my Mac, or uh, you can go to the Edit menu here, and it should tell you what the shortcut is set to on your computer. So now, on my uh, audio waveform layer, I can set the type of waveform, digital lines or dots. So just set this to either one, two, or three, and uh, then you can make other customizations to your lines with these other slider controls as well. Now you may want to copy your network into another comp, which is no problem, but you do need to remember one thing. Uh, I'll select the points layer and this first lines layer and copy them. And I'll create a new composition and paste them in. So when you do that, you'll have to reset the target layer on your lines layers uh, because that information doesn't copy over. So just go back to line origination and line destination and set it to the correct points layer to get it working properly. And I should note that this effect uh, will work the same in any resolution. So if you wanna make a 4K animation, for example, uh, there are just two steps. First, change your comp to 4K in the composition settings. Second, change the dimensions of your solid layers. So any layer that has this black square, I just select it and go to layer and solid settings and click make comp size. The last thing I wanna show you is a trick for getting a more 3D look. This is actually a 2D effect. Uh, you can't spread the dots out in three dimensions, but there is a way to fake that look um, I've got this comp I prepared with a few simple networks, each consisting of one point layer and one line layer. And what I want to do is rotate each network in three dimensions. First, I'll make all of these layers 3D by checking the 3D layer box on all of these. And then I'll add a camera layer. I'll go to Layer, New, and Camera. 
And to get some good depth of field, I'll lower the f-stop to something like 0 0.5. And if I'm in top view, I can see my camera in front of my scene. And uh, I'll open up the camera options so that I can see the focus distance property. And you just want to be aware of where the camera is focused. I'll turn it down so that the focal point is at the middle of my scene. Now to get a network that consists of multiple layers to move and rotate together, I want to parent the layers to something. So I'll parent each line layer to its point layer. And if you had multiple line layers in a network, just parent all of them to a single point layer. Let me go back to active camera view. And now when I rotate that point layer, uh, you can see that the network is now rotating in three dimensions. I'll rotate each network a little differently. And maybe this last one, I'll rotate a little and then move it up toward the camera a bit. And if you want to increase the blur uh, in those close-up objects or the really far away objects, just double click the camera and adjust the blur level. So now I could animate this camera to track uh, from left to right or dolly in right through the networks and it'll do a decent job of faking that look of a, a 3D network. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can pick apart any of the comps in here and see how I made the different networks in the, in the demo animations. And uh, let me share one final tip with you. You may want more control in positioning specific points and uh, the controls up here aren't giving you the precision you need, or maybe you just want to bypass the controls and make a specific point or line uh, look different from the others. Uh, just know that you can always turn off the expressions on any property on the points or lines, and then you'll be able to animate those properties manually uh, without the customization controls affecting it. All right, I hope you enjoy the effect and can make some really interesting and unique animations with it. If you haven't checked out the other stuff at creationeffects.com, there's really a lot of cool effects there, uh, including a totally free lens flare tool for After Effects, and lots of other stuff like title effects, VHS effects, glitch effects, old film effects, custom 3D books, growing flourishes, fire effects, ink bleeds, and a ton of artifacts for transforming your footage into animated artwork.